questions about the kind of the professional low spinner that you see on TV. And interesting thing is, if you had a lot of loft, create spin, you want a shallow angle tech, but you also want a ton of shaft lean. And a lot of people don't understand that. So if I set up ball back, shaft forward, but notice how when I push the shaft forward, the face opens up. That's really important. You don't want to put it. So ball back. If I have 10 degrees of shaft lean there and make a normal swing, that might launch pretty low, but that might have uh, 3,000 RPM of backspin on it. When I play my normal shot, now that dog, and that's always going to want to dig when you have that much shaft lean, but when I play my normal shot of half that, let's say 5 degrees of shaft lean, and it will return to about 5 degrees of shaft lean at impact, you get a higher launch. A lot of people think that that would produce more spin because it's up in the air. You think intuitively, oh, higher launch, more spin. But the reality is it's a lower spin shot by about three or 400 RPM. Actually, I like that better. Think of Luke Donald and Steve Stricker. When they hit their shots onto the green, they don't scoot in and check. They actually roll like putts. And I think that's one reason why they make so many. So a higher launching shot is gonna land softer just because it's coming down, descending a little bit more this way. And yeah, it doesn't quite have the sexy grab on it, but don't you want your shots rolling to the pin like putts going in as opposed to getting up there and stopping? So there's a big hubbub about this. Get a shaft lean, that's what creates spin, and they're correct. But there's also less forgiveness with the ground, and I think a less of a chance, control-wise, for your balls to go in. So I'm a big fan of perhaps setting up with five degrees of forward shaft lean and returning to there at impact. Uh, and I think that'll give you the most measurement.